Good afternoon traders and welcome to Trading Waves Weekly Outlook. We will be looking at the instrument, what is expected on them on the coming uh, weeks. Right, so before we can get started guys, uh, please do uh, take note. Uh, if you do wish to contact us, you can always go to our YouTube page which is uh, Trading uh, Waves. Right, so especially on the content where we give you guys the weekly outlook, you can just uh, go there and then you will find our contact details uh, here. So you will get my contact number or Victor's contact number here. Uh, that is our WhatsApp and also on Telegram as well. So you can also reach out as well on uh, info at trading webcom if you want to make inquiries about our services or anything regarding our services. You can also follow us as well on our two social media platforms that will be on Facebook and also on your Twitter. All right. So please do make sure before you can even continue to watch this, guys. Um, Put a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, make sure that the bell notification is turned on so that every time when we release this information or this free content, at least you are notified. We do value your comments as well. Uh, uh, yeah. All right, so let's get started. Uh, it's going to be a short one, but straight to the point, obviously. Yeah, so I'm going to be starting with the DXY as usual. So the dollar index, what we've seen across the board uh, this week is that we have been in a pullback on the DXY and obviously the rest of the other major pairs as well. So somebody even wanted me to uh, uh, comment on the candle pattern that is currently forming on these uh, major us dollar uh, pairs so we're going to be going through that one yeah but uh, if you haven't been following uh, here what are we are looking at on a dxy because i'm not going to start it from these highs here i'm just going to look it at from around this area here so we saw the five wave move coming down here and we have been looking at this to be a three wave move structure against this swing high here so obviously we got that one and now we have already dropped for a couple of uh, points to the downside here yeah. but last week the dxy was just uh, correcting uh, here so we've seen this uh, here that uh, we have formed a three wave move corrective structure here yeah. obviously i'm gonna go through to the alternative structure as well okay even though i still favor that this is going to drop to the downside here yeah, i'm still looking at this to have just formed a three wave moves here yeah. and my expectation is that this should still get a uh, drop to the downside here uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, it can even do something like this. Might have just dropped lower here, pulled back in a three-wave move. This could be a one-two, one-two here. Or alternatively, it could even do something like this. Give us another three-wave move lower here, and then maybe we have this one to be a leading diagonal uh, here. As long as it never gets back to around these highs here. So this can still play out as well on the uh, DXAY. But obviously, we don't just trade the market with just a one eye here. We need to see what could trigger a move to the up uh, side. So there is still that possibility. Somebody could come and say, that maybe they were looking for a bullish move all along. They can come and say, oh, this was just a, a wave one a year. They can still come and say, oh, this is just a three wave move structure here, which was our wave uh, two. I'm making an example now. Remember that my, my I'm favoring that this should drop to the downside. And they can even come and say, oh, this was our wave one yeah. How will they count this? One could come and say, uh, this is our wave one, our wave two here. This have been our wave three here, our wave four, and then this to be our wave five. And then they look at this as a three wave move structure to be our wave two in a lower degree. And they expect this move to the upside. Yeah, that is still very possible. It depends how you, what you are looking at uh, in the market. So I'm just giving you both scenarios of a bearish move and of a bullish move as well. But like I've said, it has, I'm favoring the bearish move to the downside. I'm looking at this uh, year to be the invalidation level now i don't want to see the price getting as far as around this high year if it does then we might have something like this being a move to the upside a uh, year one more leg but still be kept around this high year and then we still get this one to drop but as far as it is right now i'm looking at this high year that it should hold the price and again like i've said it this could just be a one two one two wave one uh one two a uh, year obviously this is on a four hour time frame this being our uh, wave one and then this to be a three wave move 
structures are wave two and then we get this one to drop lower like this here before we can even see something like this maybe a bigger pullback here and then this one to drop a lower this being your one your two a here and then this to be your wave three and then this to be your wave a, 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 a four obviously there could be a, a nesting or an extension around this area here so if this is the case that will mean at the swing high that we should be taking note of is this one here that we should not be getting the price around this area yet if this is going to be a one to one two that is playing out a year all right now what we've seen here is that if you go on the weekly time frame i am a fan of these uh, candle patterns i must say yeah now i'm looking at this year to drop obviously yeah that this must continue the drop to the downside now if you look at the past four weeks uh, the past four weeks from this one here uh, that would be a one two three four here we have been dropping lower here and all of a sudden we are getting this inside bar here now this inside bar uh, for me this is how i interpret it uh, yeah you need to get a move or a direction of a market or Let's say, for example, you are heading to the upside. Get a series of candles to the upside here. Yeah? And then all of a sudden, once you see an inside bar, that tells you that there is there is a trend continuation. Now, the nice thing about this inside bar here yeah, is that it did not form as an impulsively wave. It formed as a three-wave moon structure when we go to the lower time frame. I'll even go to the one-hour time frame because that's where uh, it is uh, nicely uh, visible here. Yeah. So it formed an inside bar on the weekly time frame. Why? we're already dropping to the downside so for me this is just a trend continuation that this should still continue with the move to the downside you will see that this happened across the board on all the us dollar pairs i think except your us dollar jpy and maybe your nzd us dollar but majority of these us dollar pairs they form this inside bar as far as it is i'm treating it as a an a, a trend continuation a candle a pattern now i'm gonna jump into the one hour time frame i never go as far as this year but i want us to look at that inside bar and have a look at this uh, yeah this is something that i looked at uh, i even made a video of um the dxy uh, last uh, week here yeah, on a tuesday where i was looking at this year that it was going to drop but obviously we had a possibility that this must still give us one more leg to the upside because of what was happening around this area yeah now if you look at this year it has formed a move to the upside uh, here and then it has dropped in a third wave move lower here and it has made this move to the upside now even if you look at the internals are here so we could be having this one to be uh, finishing up the wave five a year forming this nice three wave move structure there's an inside bow neck and a weekly time frame very likely that this uh, as from early next week this is very likely that it is going to give us a drop to the downside now if this is an inside bar when do we invalidate it a year so very likely that if this can make a move to the upside and come as far as around this high year, then we are going to invalidate this as and we're going to invalidate this year that this inside bar it is not a holding but as for me the price should not come around this high year this should just immediately uh, start to give us this drop uh, to the downside on the dxy uh, right so i'm not going to be spending so much time on the rest of the other us dollar pairs that inside bar uh, theory will be the same uh, across the board but i'm expecting that this should still continue to the move to the downside with my first target around at uh, this uh, swing lows here so we should be getting this one uh, to trade a uh, lower right so the euro us dollar here you'll see that uh, again here what we've seen here that this has made a three wave move structure yeah remember that we have been bullish around this area here we're looking for this move to the upside here now obviously this has bounced uh, here in a three wave moves uh, yeah so somebody that is looking for a bearish move look at this as an a b c and they're starting to look for this one to drop to the down a side but as for me i'm gonna confirm if we can get the price at least to come around this swing low yeah that's when it can give me an idea that we can get this one to drop so far what we've seen here that against this swing low here yeah, because we could be having a one two one two that this has made a nice three wave move structure yeah this being a three wave move structure here forming that inside bar on a weekly time frame so i'm going to be favoring that this makes a move to the upside and my target is going to be around these uh, highs like i've said it uh, here somebody could be looking at this one that it is still going to drop simply because of this as for me uh, here i'm respecting that this is bouncing a three wave move but i need to see the price to at least uh, trade lower here once it does come around this area here two things happen if it take this swing low it's either this is dropping a three wave move and then we get this one to be a 
a leading diagonal, something like this uh, here. So it's very likely that we can still have a leading diagonal, but it's always too early for me to forecast that one. But again, so be mindful. Once this gets around this area, don't conclude. The, the main invalidation level for a bullish move is only if a price was to come back and take this swing low. Yeah, let's say, for example, this just drops here, uh, this being your one, your two here, your three here, your four here, your five, then that's when I'm going to invalidate uh, the bullish move and we can start to look at this here to have made a drop to the downside, pull back in a third wave move here, then we can start to look at this here to be a bearish move to the downside. But as far as it is, still entertaining this one a year after it bounced off uh, from around this low because we were here, we we're calling for this move to the upside, made a couple of like uh, almost like uh, 300 pips if it's not about 290 something or 260 something. Let me just confirm here. It made about 488 pips move to the upside already here. Now I'm simply looking for the three wave move pull back here. Yeah. So hence we've seen this one here giving us a very nice three wave move structure here. So I'm going to be expecting that this is going to react from where the price is here. Yeah. Three wave move higher uh, here, lower here. I'm going to be looking for that bullish move to the up side. So it's always nice to trade obviously with an open mind uh, here or thinking outside of uh, the box. Not just to fall in love with uh, one uh, direction. We need to see when the market has uh, invalidated direction and validating the other way around. Pound US dollar has given us a move to the upside here. Obviously take this high. Two things happen with the pound US dollar is that we are having your pound US dollar to have only uh, given us a five wave move. This being your wave one, your wave two here, your wave three here, and this to have been a wave four, and this to have been a wave five here. If that's the case, then we're going to see a bit of a pullback here. That might be a three wave move strike that might even go as far as below this year before we see a move to the upside. Now, if this does happen, that will mean your pound, your, 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 your DXY might also see a bit of a move to the upside. But I don't expect this to be honest. Yeah, my primary view still remain the same that this has given us a move to the upside, being our wave one here, and then this to have been our wave uh, two. I showed you last week how did we trade this year for about almost 30 something pips uh, here. Now I'm looking at this to have only be a three wave move structure. Much still does come somewhere around this swing low here, but against this swing low here, I'm going to be expecting that this will eventually still continue or resume with the move to the upside on the pound US uh, dollar. Right, so your US dollar chief uh, has already made a move to the upside as well here. Yeah, what we've seen all along that we have been looking at this one to resume with the move to the downside. After it made these three wave moves uh, here, we're looking at this to drop lower here. Yeah. But obviously, this has made a structure like this three wave move lower here. Yeah. Uh, somebody might look at this three wave move to the upside here, yeah, and then this to have dropped in a three wave move structure like this. So there is a room for this one, for this one more leg up here. Yeah, but eventually, I'm going to be expecting a drop to the downside. But if the DXY is going to make a drop uh, uh, at the market open or uh, at least on Monday uh, without this one coming around this high here, I'm going to be expecting the US dollar chief is going to start to give us this drop uh, from where it is. Uh, yeah, so very likely because if you can zoom in here, you'll see that this has made a nice three wave move uh, structure here. Uh, it might not be clear as the rest of the other US dollar pairs, but this looks like a three wave move structure that has formed here. And I want to see this one dropping obviously against this swing up. But I of this high year will result in having this one more leg up. Maybe that's when we can start to look for a drop to the downside. Obviously, you don't have to trade this one a year. If you do, based on this uh, TA year, uh, please do make sure that your stop your stop loss does not go beyond this point here. Because, like I said, there's a room for this a year to make one more leg. Once it starts to give us this drop, your confirmation year, you can still look for more bearish move to the downside. Remember the positive correlation that we have here with that DXAY. Uh, the RDS dollar here has also made a move to the downside here. Like I've said it, that this took place across the board on the US dollar pairs. We've seen this one here, made a three wave move after it made this move to the upside. Yeah, obviously, again, I'm looking at this one to be a one, two, one, two here. This to have been a wave, uh, uh, this uh, here, this being a wave uh, one here, a wave two here, and then this to have made a very nice impulsively move as well, being a wave one here, and then this to have given us a three wave move structure here. So against this swing low here, I'm expecting that this should continue with the move to the upside, obviously targets around this area here. If this was to drop lower here, let's say for example, uh, it does this uh, year, the, this year, because this could still be a three wave move structure here, but it at least needs to come around this swing low here, then we can conclude and say it's time to look for uh, the bearish move to the downside. But for now, we're still holding ab above this uh, swing low here. So I'm going to be expecting that this should eventually start to give us the move to the 
the app as such. And the DUS dollar here, obviously this one came a little bit more lower uh, here. I'm expecting that this could, could do something like this uh, here. I wanna see this making a move short upside uh, here without taking this low, but even if it does that one here, I'll still be looking at this one here to be a very likely, but obviously that would mean this swing low here will be a very uh, important level for the price not to break it here. Even if this one has to go more lower here, I'll still be looking at this one being our uh, wave one, our uh, wave two here, and then this to continue with the move to the upside. Remember that uh, where we are coming from with these US dollar pairs uh, here. So we have been looking at this one to have completed the three wave move uh, structure here. This to have been a three wave move lower here. Obviously, this to have formed a diagonal uh, here, this being our uh, wave one uh, here. Hence, I'm looking at this one to be a possible wave two. I wouldn't want to see it breaking this uh, swing low to be honest uh, here simply because this looks a bit impulsively here so I, I didn't want to see this one as a part of this uh, corrective structure but it is so close to this invalidation level here so we might as well look at it this to be a three wave move structure like this here but eventually we should be expecting that move to the upside on your New Zealand US uh, dollar. So one of the reasons again that I don't want us uh, uh, that we, that we might that I, that I don't want to see this one to trade more low is because how the US dollar does not have a room to do a double correction. Let's say for example this one can still do this three wave move lower here, pull back in a three wave move here, and then it just drop again in a three wave move here, forming this bigger W X Y corrective uh, structure. Yeah, this is still very possible on this one. But if you look at your how the US dollar, there's no room for this double correction here. So that's why. I'm loving the idea that this should just uh, make a move to the upside from where it uh, is. So still remain bullish on a de uh, the US dollar uh, pairs. Uh, US dollar CAD, I've shared the, uh, this one here last week that we are looking at this one to drop to the downside uh, here. Let's say for example that this is already done uh, here. I want to show you something here. Let's say for example this is your one, two, three, four, five. Let's say it's a leading diagonal uh, here and then this made a drop uh, here. Now, the, uh, based on the allowed wave, we need to see a three wave move corrective structure here. So it made this nice impulsively move to the downside here and you can tell that this is a simple three wave move structure here. The price should not come back to around this swing highs here. This should drop to the downside, even if it means just drop something like this here to be an A, B, C here and then make a move to the up side. But because I'm expecting that the DXY drops all the way to the downside, I'm looking at this one here. To be a wave A here, wave B here, and then this to be a wave C, obviously, as an ending diagonal here. So this could just be one, two, three, four, five. Take this swing low, maybe pull back here, and then drop even more lower before we can see and move to the upside. But the key level is that this should not come around this swing highs here. Well, so I'm gonna be remaining. But uh, bearish on your US dollar CAD here with this very nice three wave move structure that we've seen taking place around this uh, area here. US dollar JPY, obviously, this is happening across the board that this was a pullback a week on the DXAY. US dollar JPY, I showed you last week how we're able to trade this one for about 400 something pips drop to the downside a year. If you zoom into this, you'll see that this has formed a three wave move a year, something that I've been expecting here against this swing high now. I don't want to see the price to take this high. Here. I'm expecting that this should drop to the downside. Somebody else might come in here. I had someone that was telling that oh, you have to the JPY is forming a head and shoulder pattern here. Yeah, it could be something like this. Uh, this big head here, and then this form maybe a three wave move structure. I can even do something like this a year, and then start to give us this drop just to make the size of this year to be relevant to this one. But it doesn't have to be. So this might just be one of those uh, head and shoulder pattern that is building up a uh, year. Shoulder here. This big head here, this being a, a right hand shoulder here, then we get this one to drop to the downside. But obviously, the price should not get to around these highs a year. If it gets to around these highs, then it will be invalidating the view that we have on your US dollar JPY. But after this impulsively move here, you definitely want to see a three wave move, a pullback, and then one more leg to the downside. Now, I'm not sure you this year on a one hourly time frame because it's more clear there. You'll see that if you look at this a year, made a drop to the down uh, side a year, maybe move to the upside here, a structure like a more of like a triangle here, one more leg to the upside. So this will make sense that we at least look for a, a move that is going to be related to this one. That's if it intends to make that move to the up uh, side. But this looks good for a bearish move to the downside a uh, year.
right? So your uh, pound yen, so pound yen, we are looking at this one to make one more leg to the upside, like we have been saying on our weekly outlook that we are looking at this one that it should give us a move to the upside here. Yeah? So we, we long this one uh, here yeah, for a move to the upside, but you can tell we, we already very cautious on this one because it could give us a very big drop to the downside here. Yeah? So now let's say, for example, this is already done. One could look at it this one and say, oh, this is a one, a two here, yeah, a three, a four, and a way five, leading diagonal here. Yeah. They can look at it this way. And then this to be uh, in a three wave move start like this. If that's the case, that would mean this might just do this, something like this here yeah, to the down uh, side. But obviously, we have longed it somewhere around these levels here. Yeah. We want to see this move to the upside. But if it was just going to terminate as a three wave move structure here, yeah, we'll start to immediately look for that move uh, to the downside. So even if you are buying this year, yeah, you still need to be very cautious with your pound uh, yen. So uh, soon and very soon, this will start to drop. Even if it makes this move to the upside here, yeah, it might be time for a big drop to the downside. Also, look forward for a divergence that might be taking place as well on these higher time uh, frames. You can see here there's a bit of a divergence that is from form that is uh, wants to form uh, here. So this divergence could result in having this one to give us a big drop to the downside. Uh, yeah. Right. So Euro JPY looking at this one uh, here have shared you with this one that we have been looking at this to be forming an 11 swing through a move pull back through a move back move to the upside and now we expect that this is going to drop w here wave x wave y here wave x here and this to be our uh, wave z so we are expecting that this is going to drop to the downside here so again just like your pound yen you could be having this one to have just given you this leading diagonal here one two three here four here uh with five a here and then this is just giving you a three wave structure like this meaning against this swing high here you're going to be expecting to see this one uh, giving us a drop a uh, lower but if you take this swing high here that will mean this is going to eventually invalidate this year and then even give us one more leg higher before we can expect a drop a lower uh, chief yen we showed you last week that we are invalidating the move to the upside there when i see this one a uh, dropping lower a uh, here so this has dropped lower here giving us a three wave move structure here so we're going to be expecting that this is going to eventually continue with this top might be doing a one two three four five a uh, here to the down uh, side so after this three wave move here this looks good that it is going to continue with the drop to the downside uh, here uh, KDN, we showed you, I showed you this one last week uh, that we are looking for a move to the upside, even though I said you've got to be careful here with this one. But we have been looking at this here, formed it through a move here, came in right into a nice blue box. So you had a blue box error here. So we're looking at this one that it should head higher. Yeah, maybe let me show you this what we have uh, here. But obviously, we are very well aware that. This might invalidate, but this is the uh, trade setup that we had a year. We are looking at this one uh, to have formed this three wave move structure. Yeah, this is the ABC that I spoke about last week. Yeah, ABC here starting to make a move to the upside. Obviously, we are still looking to see this more to the upside on a US on a CAD a yen uh, rather. Yeah, so that's a trade setup that we had uh, there. Right, so let's have a look at uh, uh, the rest of the other yen pairs. Uh, New Zealand yen, we have been looking at this one. If you remember last week, uh, you can refer to uh, last week here. Today I'm looking at this one to form a diagonal here. Yeah. This being our wave A, our wave B. One, two, three here, four here, our wave five. Ending diagonal here. Yeah. This looks good that it is done here with an A, B, C here. So we're going to be expecting to see that uh, rather to the upside on your New Zealand uh, yen. Um, Audi yen uh, here, we are looking at this one that it should make a move to the upside as well. We were looking at this here to drop more lower. Actually, we wanted to see this drop more lower here, come somewhere around this area here, and we're looking for a move to the upside. That's what I said last week, but obviously it did not get there. Now, what we have seen here that this has made a move to the upside here. Now, you can even look at this to be forming an inverse head and shoulder pattern here. So it might even do, I expect this move to the upside here, but if it does give you something like this here, then that would be in terms of the size, this might be equal to this one, but it doesn't have to. I'm going to be expecting that this is going to eventually make a move to the other side. Right, so your Euro K Audi, like I've said it last week, that uh, we need to see some bit of a pullback uh, here after we got this one to have dropped, dropped nicely, impossibly moved to the downside here. Now we are looking at this uh, here to give us a three-way move pullback. 
little bit of a high here then we should be getting this one to drop to the downside at least if it's going to make a move to the upside we must get a move that is going to be related to this one here at least a drop a year so it's just a matter of looking at the number of pips from this high here to this low we're talking about uh, 306 uh, pips drop that we've got to the downside so the very same thing you might see about throwing something pips here as a minimum before you can see that move to the upside that's if it's going to happen right now i'm just favoring that this keeps on dropping to the downside like i've been saying in the past a few weeks so we're going to be observing this once it come around this area here we see what structure would it be forming yeah obviously there's a bit of a structure that might be taking place this will have made a three wave move through a move lower here this being a three wave move here then this come down a three wave move and then maybe form an expanding flat collective structure if that's the case there's going to be a move that will be related to this one to the upside like this maybe that's when we can see a drop to the downside but right now i'm favoring that this does this this is my favorite that this should just drop all the way to the down uh, side your euro new zealand uh, here made a move to the upside uh, here uh, what we could be having with the euro new zealand in terms of the structure here made a three wave move to the downside uh, here so we could be having this one giving us a three wave move to the upside here make a, a move up drop lower here move to the upside and that will mean this must still give us a three wave move lower like this uh, here then we have this thing the whole thing being your w x y corrective uh, structure then maybe that's when we might see a move to the upside but we should be seeing a drop to the down uh, side uh, yeah Right, so Eurocat uh, still in favoring that this should drop a uh, move to the downside uh, here. So don't like uh, to look at this as an ABC like I've been showing you on the weekly time frame. So I'm favoring this here. Made a three wave move to the downside here. This could just be our connector here. So we could be having this one here to be just giving us a drop to the downside here. The whole thing becomes your WXY corrective structure before we can see a move to the up uh, side. But as long as this never come back to around this swing highs uh, here, we should be expecting a drop to the downside yeah overall like i've said it we're looking at this three wave move structure here maybe that's when we can see a big move uh, to the up uh, side for now we favor in the move to the downside yeah euro chief i've showed you this one here that we have been expecting this one that it should drop to the downside obviously against this swing high yeah so this is a start that we have been looking at we had this year being a five wave move one two three here these two have been our wave four coming into this territory here and these two have been our wave five so we have been looking at this a our uh, wave b uh, here and we've been looking at this one here this being our wave two we're looking for a three and a four and a wave five alternatively this could be done here this could have just been your wave a here uh, wave b here this to be our wave c and then this is a one two then maybe we are in the wave three if we take this high here then it will be invalidating the trail setup that we have at there then we can start to look for pull back get that pull back then we're going to be looking for a buy but it must strictly come and take this uh, swing high other than that this could still be a yeah, three wave move creative structure and it just give us a drop to the down uh, side Right, so I'm sure you can already see that we put both uh, alternative uh, views here, both bullish and a bearish uh, view. So we're just waiting for some levels to be hit uh, there. European been showing you this one here that we are expecting that this should still continue the drop to the downside. Obviously, we had we have been tracking this structure here the past uh, few weeks. We've got this as an expanding flat collective structure in the middle here. We're expecting this to drop, but instead of dropping all the way down, this has just bounced or, or traded lower here in a three wave move moves so with that being said we are still holding uh, below this swing high here we can still have this uh, here drop lower here maybe even form a diagonal uh, here and then we have something like this being your wave one wave two here and then this drop alternatively this could just be three wave move to the upside uh, here three wave move lower here and then this might still even do something like this three wave move then the whole thing becomes a w here here with x and then this to be with y but we still be expecting to see that drop to the down uh, side all right so your pound uh audi pound audi made a very nice impulsively move to the downside a uh, year uh, last uh, week a uh, not that uh that other week made a nice impulsively move and then this made it through a move move to the upside uh, here we shot this uh, here because we're looking at this you can even refer to the chart of the week a uh, year it was our chart of the week a uh, year now what we've seen here uh, this has dropped a couple of hundred uh, pips a uh, year so you would have been able to make something out of this chart of the week so it 
it dropped about 181 pips but what we've seen notice with this drop that it did not come down impulsively here so it made this three wave move to the upside drop again in a three wave move here now this has made another three wave move to the upside here so we are looking at this here to be give us a one more leg to the upside again to be a w here uh, against this swing high this being our wave x and then this to be our wave y that's what we're going to be looking for uh, the big shot again uh, to the down uh, side on the pound uh, Audi. so but it still looks good for a bearish move to the downside however pound new zealand on the other hand this does not have a good look for a move to the downside yeah after i check this high here it might be a different story here now what we could have I've, I've shared this one before that we could have had this one to have made a drop in a three wave move structure like this uh, here um uh, alternative let me start with this one here made a drop to the downside here and then this become three wave move move to the downside the three wave move and then this becomes another three wave move again then you have this big corrective structure here this becomes the wx uh, y corrective structure this being your w here your wave x here this to be your wave y and then maybe this this is when this is going to uh, give us a drop to the down uh, side yeah so this is a structure that might play out alternatively we could have had this three wave move to the downside here this makes a move to the upside again here in a three wave move something like this before we can see another three wave move to the downside just still being your w here your wave x this to be your wave y the only difference that we are looking at this that it could just be a standalone corrective uh, move structure here before you can get to see this one more leg lower yeah if it makes a move to the upside somewhere around this area yeah something's gonna trigger for a bearish move uh, to the downside on your uh, pound new zealand but so pound shift nothing much on this one i've showed you how we've been able to trade this one from around these lows a year so we are simply waiting to see can we get another pull back here looking for another entry here you can see here we made a drop to the downside move up here if this can still drop lower here then we're going to be looking for the trying to continue with the move to the up side structurally uh, the structure that we are looking at is this a year i've showed you this one made a move to the upside we have been in this correction for quite some time so we are looking for a move that is really Related to this one here uh, yeah. so this should still continue i showed you last year that we still have got about almost a thousand pips move to the upside before we can talk something else on your pound uh, chief uh, pound cat we are looking at this year to continue the move to the upside uh, here uh, we have look at this one uh, uh, but i'm gonna show you again i'm gonna say this one again uh, here we've had this very nice move to the upside a uh, here but i'm gonna ask you this i'm gonna leave it to you guys we've had this very big move to the upside now all of a sudden we saw this one pulling back in a three wave move here yeah. now as for me this does not have the right look that this could be this three wave move structure could be correcting the whole thing uh, yeah so that's why i even have some alternative views what could bring this one back to around these lows uh, here then, then maybe that might make uh, sense so just to show you that this could just make three wave move structure like this uh, here this is something that i even shared to our members that we could even be having this to be an abc and then we have this one dropping again in a three wave move and then the whole thing become a w here in your wave x or your wave y depending how we can come down here but bear in mind that this is uh, a this is not the structure that comes first the one that comes first that this is already done a year and it's time for this one to continue with that bullish move to the upside if this does happen here then we're going to be looking for uh, that buying opportunity then we rather had maybe a more of like a sideways a uh, move here and uh, something like this before we can see a move to the up uh, side but as for now what i'm favoring here that against this swing low here we're simply looking for a move to the upside if the market drops lower here in a three wave move structure like this here we're simply looking for uh, this continuation in a high because remember there is no rule or guideline that says how big the corrective structure will be uh, so this could be done here this being your wave one your wave two here then maybe have a wave one a lower degree wave two here and then maybe like having like a triple nest that is taking place uh, here on your uh, 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 pound uh, cat all right so let's have a look at the commodities uh gold here yeah, very interesting structure that is forming a uh, yeah so gold um you've seen this one on the social media how we have been able to trade it uh, here and what we are expecting here so we have been looking at this to have made our wave one our wave two here and this to be our wave three yeah 
Now, wave four, it is so common that it's going to be made up of triangles or even flat corrective structure. But the first one that is coming uh, here, or W correction, might take place as well on uh, the way on your wave uh, four. But if you are not familiar with that one, uh, like I've said it guys last week, we have introduced a course uh, called mastering uh, the, uh, the the corrective uh, structures. Yeah, some people they don't care about knowing the Elliott wave; they just want to know when it is the time for a corrective structure. How do I see it? Where is that corrective structure going to be likely to terminate? If you are that person, that you might consider to have that uh, look mastering the corrective structures. That's a course that we've uh, introduced uh, here. Very, very powerful, to be honest. Uh, so it will be worth it to get it uh, there. Right, so if you look at this here, the first corrective structure that comes into mind here, if we are in the way for, for me, it is this, that this is forming more of like a triangle here. So this could be an A or B here, a C here, a D here, and then this to be a wave E. And then gold will be expected to make that move to the up side. But if this got invalidated, look at this here, three wave move that we've seen to the downside here. So the price might still do something like this, made a move to the upside. This must still drop more lower here, come somewhere around this area, make a move to the upside, and then we get this one yet again to form something like this here. Then before we can see a move to the upside, the whole thing becomes a W here, your wave X here, and then this to be a wave Y. So that will be uh, the structure that will be next if we invalidate uh, this triangle. Yeah, but very likely that this triangle here uh, might be in play on a uh, gold. But I'm still expecting to see more bullish move to the up uh, side. Silver showed you this one. Now we have been able to trade it as well. We took it around this area here when we saw this through a move structure after the impulsively move. So we're looking for this move to the upside surprisingly if you look at silver keeps on making a move to the upside yeah keeps on making a move to the upside but as for gold has been holding a level yeah now talk about that look at gold here yeah. what gold did here yeah. it formed a very nice inside uh, bar here yeah, on the weekly time uh, frame so that inside bar you can see that we've already got a possible quality strategy that is in play and all of a sudden we're having this inside bar here so gold will be very likely that market open maybe a bit of this here and from there we should be looking for this first target will be around this high which is almost about 300 something points to the upside and then obviously we'll be expecting more bullish air move but you can still have something like this i've seen this drop lower here drop lower here maybe even three candles or two candles but never still be still be kept uh, within this big uh, candle here still be inside that range and then we get this move to the upside here yeah. but very interesting what is happening on a weekly time frame or the candle pattern comparing it to what is happening on the lower time frame uh, the wave uh, count but right, so silver, like I've said it, we're still expecting to see this one continuing more to the upside uh, here. So we are looking at silver that it might even get to as far as around these highs a year. Maybe before we can see a bit of a pullback. Remember that we've been looking at this being our wave one, our wave two here. So you can even have this uh, internally here. This to be a five wave move here. One here, your two here, your three here. This being our wave four. And then this to be our wave five. Maybe that's when you get this one uh, to form the wave uh, four here. This being your wave one, your wave two here maybe a wave three here and then we have this as a wave four and then we still see that continuous shift move to the up sir but for silver still looking good there platinum still looking at this one here after i made this drop obviously i have still been looking for this one that it should drop here we made this drop to the downside we are looking at this year to be a structure here expanding flat i'm looking for this one that it should drop against this swing high here obviously get an impulsively move pull back in it through a move then that's when you can look for a short move uh, to the downside but structurally i still want to see this one uh, dropping to the down uh, side brand crude oil we've been singing this one here we've made a move to the upside here in a three-way move remember that i've been telling you about this alternative uh, wave coming that I like a three-way move high here made a pull back here three-way move move to the upside here we have been buying this in our group simply because we are looking at this uh, here this to be your w here your wave x here look at the three wave move that i'm making up this structure here same thing that we are getting here three wave move that i'm making this structure here so eventually against this year we're going to be looking to short brand crude oil with this being your wxy corrective air structure Right, so let's have a look at the indices before we can jump into the cryptocurrencies uh, here. So the indices, they are still looking bullish. There's nothing much that has changed. You can see here, I'm going to zoom in this uh, here. You can also refer to our social media pages, how we have been able to trade the indices. Look at this here. This is forming a three-way move structure here. Look at this. Drop, pull back, 
drop lower here so you're going to be looking for the indices to make a move to the upside are uh, we not expecting the indices to drop not anytime soon but we are very well aware that we could be having this one to have just completed the five wave moves okay this could just be one two three four five here if that's the case we might even see this here yeah. not what i want to see here uh, we might but we might see something like this and this is just starting to give us a pullback but the indices are still looking bullish even if that was to come but for now before that bigger pullback i'll even expect maybe a third more pullback that will be collecting this cycle from these lows here to these highs maybe that's when i can say we still look for that move to the upper side but we have been buying the indices so uh, as for us uh, here uh, it is not a big deal whether they give us a big drop or those shadow correction we're still looking for buying opportunity to the upper side look at dow jones made a very nice three wave move lower here made a move to the upside in a three wave move here so we might even get something like this simple w x y collective strategy get this one here then we're going to be looking for the continuation move uh, to the upper side uh, S&P 500 made a move to the upside. Now it looks like it is forming this three-wave move structure. Yeah, three-wave move here. Yeah. Want to get that three-wave move to play at? You're gonna be looking for that move to the upside. Again, a bigger picture on this one here yeah, that we could have just uh, been into a five-wave moves here, yeah, and then maybe we get a bigger pullback. Maybe this being your one, your two here, yeah, uh, uh, but it will just be a one to one to one here, yeah, two here, yeah, a one here yeah, in a different degree. Obviously, uh, let me just uh, do it nicely here. Yeah. Have this being our wave one flat correction here as our wave a uh, two. This being your wave one, then this could just be a different degree here. This being your wave one, our uh, wave two here, then we could even have this one a uh, year to, to do this, something like this. Wave four, wave five uh, here before maybe we can even get the bigger pullback here. You can see that we still have got a very big room uh, that we should be making a move to the upside on the indices uh, here. Forget about this drop. Everybody's saying that all oh, the indices are going to drop here in fact when we were around here they were expecting to see this drop ever since then this is just keeping on making a move to the up uh, side on the indices uh, then all right, so let's have a look at uh, your DAX continuation move to the upside. There's no sign of a reversal anytime soon here. Yeah. Even if we were to get a reversal, it might just be against this swing low here. Yeah. Maybe something like this here. Uh, yeah. We see a continuation move to the upside. Yeah, at most, maybe this being a one, two, a three here, yeah. four with yeah. five here. Yeah. Maybe this here, uh, yeah. but still against this swing low here. Yeah. I'll still be looking for that move to the upside. So whatever we do here, still look for a move to the upside on the indices here. Uh, yeah. UK 100. I've showed you this one week in week out that this is just uh, forming very nice uh, uh, something that is very nice i'm looking at this uh, yeah this is very likely that we're gonna be getting something like this eventually this will get back to around this uh, highs here uh, on uk 100 and continue that move to the up uh, side even if it does this uh, here still looking for uh, that move to the upside uh, there uh, your Nikki, no signs of a reversal anytime soon uh, here. At most, maybe we might be seeing something like this, made a drop uh, here to the downside. Maybe it might do this uh, here. If it does this, it's an invitation that you can still look for more buying opportunity. Nifty, same thing here. We are looking at this one here. Made a very nice uh, diagonal uh, here. Two things happen with this one that we might have just been a one, two, three, four, five a year, and then we get this one three wave move against this swing low here. If we do get that one, then we're gonna be looking for a continuation move uh, to the up side. But if it was to drop lower here, that that would mean this has just ended the five wave move to the upside here. It's time for a bigger correction and then a continuation move uh, to the up side. But this is very good looking here on uh, your nifty now let's have a look at uh, the cryptocurrencies as for bitcoin we are seeing a bit of a pullback uh, here but the big question is are we pulling back or are we getting a big drop to the downside talking about that one i spoke about this one last week i showed you guys that um bitcoin does have a room that it can be giving us a very big drop to the downside maybe something like this a uh, year before it can even head a uh, higher i've showed you this that if you are having a one then you get a two and then you are expecting this move to the upside yeah the internal waves most of the time your wave one needs to take this high here take the high then that becomes your internal wave one then you have this as a wave two uh, here before you can see a three and a four and a wave five that is going to complete uh, this wave three here yeah. 
So as for Bitcoin, we have been to this high year. Now, for me, it might not be a surprise that you see a bigger pullback. That is going to be like 50% of this whole impulsively move to the upside uh, Yeah. Talking about that, uh, we are yet to close, obviously, on the weekly time frame. But look how interestingly the weekly time frame it is looking. Uh, yeah, well, it's still yet to close. So it's either this pushes more lower to the downside a year, and then we get this uh, big, uh, big body with a very big week to the upside. Yeah, that would be a reversal uh, candle pattern. Or alternatively, even if it pushes and, and closes a doji here, that will still be a very nice. A, a bearish uh, candle pattern here yeah, that would be a nice doji which could also result in having this one here to give us this move to the downside here uh, yeah. obviously lower time frame i want to see this uh, yeah if we can get the price to break this swing low here then very likely the bigger correction it is in the cards on a bitcoin so this is a swing low that i don't want to see being taken out here so we could be having this one here maybe through a move start like this year and then we have this one to continue with the move to the upside but if you take this swing low yep very likely it's time for a bigger one here that might even come in a wxy corrective structure before a move to the up side so if this was the case let's say for example bitcoin does give us that bigger pullback what would be the price people are they want to see here what would be the price very likely that this might even come somewhere around your forty thousand dollars before we can see a move to the upside again it must come in a three-way move if this was just to drop like this here impulsively here then forget about this move here we might be getting a very big uh, bearish move to the downside here and then maybe this whole thing here become the three wave move lower here then become the three wave move structure like this then become the structure like this before we can even see a resumption move to the up side that's possible as well but right now uh, we are looking at bitcoin to be just giving us a three wave move structure against this swing low here then we're going to be expecting to see a move to the up side that should be the sum as well with your ethereum obviously here we are looking at ethereum as well that it should still continue the move to the upside but again we don't have to have this swing low being tagged here yeah. unless of course if the market is treating this let me show you this this could just be your one your two here you have three here this should be now with four and then a wave five here if that's the case this might do this come here pull back drop lower here and then against this swing low here then we might be seeing a move to the upside on your ethereum especially if it can take this swing low once it take this swing low here very likely that we are pulling back the starting from these lows here to these uh, highs here yeah, before we can see another leg to the up side right so let's have a look at uh, your light cone so light cone has made a bit of a drop here as well here i was still looking at light cone to make a move to the upside uh, here but now that we have made this move uh, here now you can see that this looks a bit impossible here so somebody could look at this here five wave move if that's the case that might do this uh, here then we still see five wave move here before we see a move to the up side yeah so that will be the structure that i'm going to be looking at on your light uh, coin and then lastly of the cryptocurrencies we are looking at your ripple ripple we have been i showed you this how we have been able to trade this one for a move to the upside i still favor that ripple is going to make a move to the upside even if this being your wave one yeah we could be having this one wave two here yeah, or even something like your light coin yeah make a move to the side and get through a pull back drop lower here but never come to run this swing low here and then we we'll still look for that big move to the upside all this will depend whether bitcoin it is in that uh, bigger corrective uh, structure right so for more of this content guys you can always just tune in into our website and obviously try us out and see if it will be worth your money right so from my side that's all that i wanted to share with you guys please trade safe and responsible and i'm gonna see you guys next week cheers everybody don't forget to subscribe like and also we do value your comment and make sure that bell notification it is turned on so that every time we release the content at least you are notified cheers everybody have a good one Bye bye